turn this on. Oh, we don't have a key. That would be helpful. down a little bit it's not necessary today hey everyone we're back it is me and good old mr skeleton once again we are back for another another season of halloween decor hunting it is time i hope i don't know maybe i'm speaking a little prematurely so today we're gonna go to at home and we're gonna look and see if they have Halloween out. And I'm not gonna lie, this isn't our first time we've been out. I've been going. I've gone twice with the camera and we saw 4th of July, but not one shelf was cleared off, no sign of Halloween, nothing. And old time pottery, I mentioned this in my Halloween shopping guide, has a bunch of gnomes right now. I think we'll go. I just was wanting there to be a little bit more of something not driving an hour to see some freaking gnomes not doing it although i don't know it's not that i don't like the gnomes it's that i don't understand why there are so many like i get the like i get why people would like gnomes no different than some people like witches and some people like skulls some people like bats i totally get liking gnomes i'm not hating on that my thing is why is that all we're seeing i don't understand for the love of gnomes, I don't get it. It was kind of like those witches and the pretty dresses at Home Goods. It was like gnomes and witches and pretty dresses last year, and that's pretty much all Home Goods had. So I'm equally as annoyed with the witches and the pretty dresses. So I'm not really only attacking gnomes. I need to uh, get away from exhaust pipe over here. Totally forgot to mention that today it's like 60 something degrees overcast it is probably the not the perfect day because it's not fall and it doesn't really feel like fall and the, and the leaves are green they're not orange yellow green if you know you know they are green um but it feels so nice today i feel like today i feel like this was a sign by the way the halloween facebook group is like if you're on that if you're not on it you gotta go if you are on it, it is seriously the most fun. I am probably addicted to it. Um, it's just all the Halloween things all the time. It's exactly what I need. It's everything, all the little sneak peeks coming out, like the one from Bath and Body Works, which maybe I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. If you're not part of the Facebook group, there was a uh, an early Bath and Body Works uh, teaser kind of thing. I guess if you have the app, they sent it to people who have the app. Well, I tried to get the app, because I, I want I want the updates and they were like oh it's not available in your area right now and I was like don't know we need this we need these updates so if you have the app you might have to help me out and keep me updated because apparently I can't get it because they have a problem with Kansas all right anyways I, I think when I walk in today no one's gonna suspect that I'm looking for Halloween do you think <laughs> Got my black and white stripes on. I got a skeleton in the back. I'm ready. Let me in. Oh, oh, I know what I was gonna say really quick. Bath and Body Works gave away a teaser. So they did this, Bath and Body Works gave away this little teaser thing and they showed a picture and there's like a couple little things in there and one of them is this Chihuahua Dracula or Dracula Chihuahua plug-in situation. Oh my God. <sighs> They knew we were coming this year or something. I don't know. Um, but it's a Dracula Chihuahua. Of all things, it makes me so excited. But I definitely need the Dracula Chihuahua. I don't care what anyone says. I'm stalking it till I find it. <laughs> all right, we're here. We're at, at home. A lonely friend on the floor of my car. Lonely friend. Mr. Skeleton, there was nothing. Wait, how do I turn this on? Mr. Skeleton, we're raging. 
there was nothing not not only was there nothing and not one Halloween thing in there but they still had freaking 4th of July it is June what what is it June end of June no one is still decorating for 4th of July I don't really know a lot of people who decorate for 4th of July it's not really like a big all right I'm just trying to turn and you're in my lane exhaust man so I did I something my teeth oh my gosh look at a big old thing of liquid lipstick or something anyways so I got my full garb on and everything. We go in there and it's 4th of freaking July still. What is happening here? What's going on? People are losing their minds. I think during quarantine, everyone forgot how to drive because it's it's been insane. Has anyone else noticed that? Is that is, or is that just here? But I feel like everyone has forgotten how to drive. I don't even know what I was saying. It was 4th of July there. There was not one aisle cleared out. There was no clearance. I do not understand what is happening. I'm so, I'm so disappointed. All right, here we go. We're off. Gonna start the car. Whew. It's humid today. What is the humidity before we leave? Let's look. Let's see. Um... Humidity is 83% today. It's a long one. Everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting. It's me and good old Mr. Skeleton with his head spinning around. It's already facing the opposite direction, looking at everybody who's behind us <laughs> or scaring everybody who's behind us. One or the other. Oh, sorry, guy. Anyways, it is about, oh, I don't know, like two hours after I really wanted to leave today. <laughs> but whatever, we're, we've left, we're on our way, we're cruising. So I, um, I ran into a little bit of a roadblock. <laughs> I, uh, I took a ridiculous amount of time trying to get this packaging off of this brand spanking new eyeliner. The freaking thing had like 30,000 wrappers on it. And it's it's the Sephora eyeliner, um, felt tip eyeliner. I don't know if anyone else has had this problem if you use that eyeliner, because I know it's kind of a popular one. It's, um, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Kat Von D one. We're getting off on a tangent. Okay, anyways, took me 3,000 years to get this freaking packaging off. I tried everything, scissors, my nails, my teeth. I tried, which I try not to use my teeth because I know that's like not what you're supposed to do. What else am I supposed to do? That took me, I'm not even joking, probably 15 to 20 minutes, which is just embarrassing. Um, all right, so now that I just went off on a whole tangent, which if you're new here, welcome. <laughs> I, I like to chit chat as we're out Halloween decor hunting and that way we can kind of get to know each other, hang out, and make this an overall hopefully entertaining experience uh, we're going to at home all the way out in lee summit which is a good 40 minutes which means it looks like we're gonna be driving in the freaking rain which is even better and um i mean i love overcast days like i love that it's cloudy right now because it's less strain on my eyeballs when i'm driving because i cannot do the sun it's it's i'm like a real life vampire or something i love the overcast day but I just don't want it to be storming and raining as I'm out and about. But if it is, then I guess we'll have a good little soundtrack. Maybe you can take a little nap. So we're going out to at home in Lee Summit. This is like the longest story ever. I gave up on the Olathe location. We're, we'll go there tomorrow, I think. Um, but I'm not going there today because we went there Friday and they still had freaking 4th of July. So I don't have my hopes up for that place. Then we're going to go out to old time pottery and we're getting a, we're getting gnomes. No, uh, we're going to see what else they have out. And that probably will be the last time I go there. No, uh, I might try to go back out there, but it's really far. Then I'm gonna drive the whole five hours home. Not five hours, it's like an hour home. And then we're gonna talk about what we saw. So I'm going to Starbucks to get my coffee. Then by the time we hit the highway, I'm gonna get off of here 
because I have no idea where I'm going. We went here uh, to this at home last year, but I don't remember. I think it was kind of like this weird roundabout way I had to go and it was a whole situation. Oh, look at this line at Starbucks. I know, dude. I feel the same way. I wouldn't wait in this either, but I'm desperate. Maybe I should turn around. I'm going to tell you guys what just happened. <laughs> I'm going back to Starbucks. I had to turn around and I went to the bank really quick. Okay. I'm trying to turn it. Oh, God. The line's even longer now. I should have gone before. I can tell the story now because I'm waiting at freaking Starbucks. All right. So I'm driving this. I'm dri I've been driving my husband's car. If you know the story, I my lease was up and I never drive. So we're trying this whole sharing a car thing. I haven't really driven it much so far, so I'm still getting used to the technologies in here. So I reached over to roll down my window when I got to the bank, and where the positioning is, like where my old car had my window roll down thing, um, it's kind of like, I'm used to just reaching over and rolling it down. Well, the, air, the little button is the back window instead of the front window. So I rolled down the back window first. I was like, uh-oh. So in my old car, you could just tap the window button and it would automatically roll the rest of the way up. And so I tapped the button. So I thought the back window was up. Everything was good. So the lady comes to the window or whatever and is like, hey, how are you? But she like, before she does that, she kind of gives me this weird look. Like she's not enthused at all with whatever's going on with me. It's like, oh no, did I come off? Maybe when I said hi, did I come off a little rude or something? Then this guy comes up and he's like, hi, how are you today? And I'm like, oh my gosh, am I in trouble for something? Or are you gonna, like sometimes they'll ask if you want like to refinance or whatever. And I'm like, oh wait, I gotta get my drink. What can I make for you? Uh, yes, hi. Can I get a grande iced triple soy latte, please? Grande iced triple soy latte. You got it. That is me. 646. We'll see you at the window. Great. Thank, thank you. you so much. So anyways, this guy, he's like, hi, um, how are you doing today? And then he like, he goes, oh, did your friend in the back get tired of waiting? <laughs> like, oh, maybe he can see him through the window and he was just, you know, looking in and just saw him in there. And I said, I think I said something really awkward. I think I was like, yeah, keeping it spooky all year round. <laughs> I couldn't think of what to say. Cause like, this is so normal now that I just like, don't even, I don't even know what to say. So I go to leave and I go to roll up my window and the back window is still down. <laughs> I was just laughing cause I had no idea. I was like, oh weird. He must've really been looking to see Mr. Skeleton back there. But no, the Mr. Skeleton is hanging out in all of his glory just gaping mouth open at everybody inside of the bank. Anyways, I thought I'd tell that story because I thought that was hilarious. Oh no, this person dropped their card on the floor. Or on the ground, I mean. Okay, I'm gonna get off here because I have no idea where I'm going, but I'll see you guys at, at home. We're gonna see Halloween today for sure. We're going. I'm ready. It is raining and I was looking at, um, at the weather as I was sitting at a stoplight and it said that uh, downpours are possible today. So it looks like I'm probably not gonna be wearing my hat inside just in case I don't want it to get all wet. But also, ooh, home goods. Um, also it sent me a whole different way that's way easier this time. I don't know what's with that. I'm hoping it doesn't just pour before or as we're getting out of the car before we get there or whatnot okay i thought i turned the camera back on because i thought we were getting closer but apparently this light is 300 years long oh 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 my tires just spun <laughs> apparently i'm so excited to see halloween decorations that i just <laughs> peeled out <laughs> at a stoplight whatever we're cruising. Okay, turn into the parking lot. It's gotta be in here. No, it's up here, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, because there's a Taco Bell there. <laughs> I, I love it that I, I know where everything is based on how how close or far uh, Taco Bell is. <laughs> I'm like, well, Taco Bell's there, so I remember last time. <laughs> oh, Lord. And sure enough, it's right there. It does not, for, first of all, I'm not turning right into the parking lot. This is a lie. This is a whole lie. 
Oh look, no one's here today. <laughs> All right. Little well, Mr. Skeleton, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh, you are driving down the wrong way. Excuse me. Here we go with the road rage. Still in 2021, that did not improve. Oh, I thought that was a parking spot and I don't want to park by the carts. I see a lady. Wait, why are you stopping? Okay, 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 we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. We are going in. Wish us luck. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Very wet. Lots of rain. So, we saw Halloween. I don't want to be ungrateful, okay? I don't. I don't want to be ungrateful because we saw Halloween. <laughs> oh, this person's going to pull up right next to me, aren't you? Oh, hi. Mm-hmm. Good to see you. The whole setup in there, the only Halloween they have set up is a bunch of trickery. Let me put that out there. The way they have it set up is they have an end cap with some Halloween stuff. And then they have at the very top of one of the aisles, they have a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. So it makes it seem like oh, there's a bunch of aisles of Halloween. But then you go down the aisles and it's all 4th of July and summer stuff. It's, it's actual torture and trickery what they did there. They have though an end cap that had a bunch of potion bottles, um, different ones that said poison, like a purple one and a green one that said poison that were a little taller and then some shorter ones that had a little bat kind of stopper in it. And they had some skulls that were kind of potion bottle looking that had uh, cork stoppers in them. Um, but it was a lot of, um, I think the theme there was like uh, green and purple. Anyways, so then there was a whole aisle, uh, not even a whole aisle, it was the whole top of the aisle had all these huge jack-o'-lanterns. But then you look down at the, at the shelves and it's all like summer pottery or, you know, for... Um, the planters. Give me a break. So that's all we saw. Let me tell ya. <laughs> Got at freaking home. Dang it. I I tell you what, okay, I know that there's some up north because I saw somebody post in the Facebook group. Somebody posted in North Kansas City that they have a basically not fully stocked, but they have a lot of Halloween out. But up north is really far from me. Like I don't know, maybe we'll eventually have to. We're gonna go to the Olathe store tomorrow. Maybe we'll go today, I don't know. But we gotta go to Old Time Pottery. Let me do this. Starting route to Old Time Pottery. As much as I wanna be excited that we finally saw our first area of Halloween so far, I'm, I'm secretly not that excited because they just basically pulled a fast one on us by putting an end cap and then just like a top shelf to where you see all Halloween, but then you go down the aisles and you see a freaking American flag, metal American flag, yard stake. <laughs> I'm trying not to look at all the pictures of what's coming out because I really want to be surprised. To Northeast Rice Road. Then turn right onto Northeast Columbus Street. Okay. Turn right. Okay. Uh, what? Turn right here? At the light, turn right onto State Route 291 oh, okay. North. Okay. Two miles, continue onto I-470 North. Okay. I don't want to be picky. I, I really don't. And I don't want to be ungrateful. I'm really glad and thankful to the Halloween gods for delivering this little taste of Halloween. Um, but... It's coming out slow this year. What is happening? I know a lot of people are gonna be like, it's June. Okay, yeah. And it's usually out by now. This is the latest I've seen at home put out their Halloween in three or four years. So we're moving on to Old Time Pottery. We are for sure seeing Halloween here. Well, I'll see you guys at Old Time Pottery. We have arrived at Old Time Par Pottery. Pottery, we're here. We're going in, we're gonna go see what they have. I'm hoping for some actual Halloween decorations. Let's go. Don't look at my hairy knees. Oh no.
Oh lord, I am a drowned rat. Right, so we're back home and I figured I would, I don't even remember where we left off, but I, all I know is it was raining its ass off. And the one thing I will say about going out Halloween decor hunting in the rain is it really sucks when trying to film like walking up to the store because it's pouring down rain. But the good thing about it is I don't feel nearly as drained. So I feel good. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get my stretchy pants on and talk to you guys about Halloween decorations. So yes, I came home immediately and changed into stretchy pants because, okay, since COVID, I cannot wear jeans. I try so hard and I wore them today and they're even stretchy jeans. I still, I'm like, <gasps> what is this? It's like freaking sausage casing. It's horrible. Okay, anyways. So the first thing I saw when I walked in, I saw some fall pumpkins. I didn't get good shots of those because it's more fall in my opinion. Um, but I saw a bunch of Halloween figurines or pottery kind of stuff. It was probably my favorite of the day, this one little first section. Uh, a, big ghost and little baby ghost. And then there were a couple of jack-o'-lantern head looking figurines. One had more of like, it was like a ghost. It was a ghost with a jack-o'-lantern head holding a black cat. And the other one was a jack-o'-lantern head lady wearing a dress. And they also had this really cool little spooky house looking thing with this spooky tree kind of going up the side. And then um, there was also this little fortune teller thing that was really cool that had this little fortune teller inside and then a little crystal ball. And then it says like misfortune on it, which Ms. Fortune, if you get it, then you get it. Another one that really stood out to me, probably one of my favorites of the day was this witch. Well, first of all, I'm a sucker for a hag witch, but this one, it was a green witch uh, sitting on a crescent moon with a crystal ball in her hand. She was so magical, and I feel like she's gonna be a popular one this year. Also, the another popular one that stood out to me was this, uh, it was kind of like a vintage look once again, had this jack-o'-lantern head guy sitting on a crescent moon. It's like a hanging decoration. I kind of wish it was more of a pedestal though than a hanging decoration, just in my opinion. Let me watch this video and see what else I missed. There was this cloche thing that had these little trees that are coming up and then it has little pumpkin head people inside. Let's move on to <laughs> the one thing I didn't want to see this year, and which I talked about a little bit earlier. And it's not that I don't want to see them, it's just I was feeling like we saw a lot of them last year because 2020 was the year of the gnome. So uh, they had a bunch of gnomes. And let me just tell you, some of them were kind of cute and I may have gotten one or I may have gotten to, <laughs> don't judge me. Okay, so um, they had a bunch of different gnomes. They had kind of some old school looking gnomes that were a little bit more distressed, I wanna call them, but I, I maybe more vintage looking, just like they've seen a rainy day or two, like, or maybe they've just been out outside for a little bit longer, but they were a little bit more rustic looking. Um, they also had uh, ones that were not so rustic looking, that were a little bit more freshly painted looking. They were holding cute little things. And then there was one that was sitting up, like a little gnome sitting up on a pumpkin. And I think he was holding a sign that said boo or something like that. Then there were also these skeleton gnomes that were just gnomes that looked like skeletons. And they had more of that rustic look as well, a little bit worn looking. Um, and then they also had a couple of sugar skull figurines, uh, which was really cool. I love seeing sugar skulls out there and Day of the Dead mixed in there. All right, moving on to this other little area. Here's an area that also had another sugar skull piece that was really, really cool. It's kind of like a sugar skull. I can't tell if it was a planter or a bowl. I guess it could be both, like a candy bowl or a planter. I mean, actually be really cute as a planter, put a little succulent in there. Also, there were a couple little skeleton pieces, the hand the skeleton hands that were coming up and I couldn't figure out what the heck it was supposed to be holding. A bowl, like what size, I'm confused. Maybe, and it didn't, I don't know what goes in there. Like a crystal ball, I don't know. And then a pumpkin with the skeleton head in there. Uh, there are a couple, several different skeleton pieces. Like a, a skeleton contemplating life on a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Then there were also these statues that were uh, kind of, that kind of stood out from the rest of the stuff. One was a Frankenstein, but he was like turquoise instead of green. <laughs> and then the other one was this mummy, I think it was. Was that what it is? Or a ghost? Oh no, it was a mummy holding a pumpkin, but it was a mummy that almost looked 
Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. The mummy looked really freaky, like out of some sort of horror movie. Like it's gonna come to life and sit in the corner of your room or something. You can tell me what you think in the comments, but that's what I got from it. Also, there was a whole other area. Okay, here we are. A whole other area that had um, a bunch of random stuff, uh, more skeleton pieces. There was a skeleton sitting in a bathtub. There's a skeleton with a jack-o'-lantern head kind of figurine situation. And then um, also a little, uh, uh, what, was, what am I thinking? Like a spell book that's open kind of thing. Not my favorite open spell book I've seen. I think Michael's usually has, if you're looking for open spell books, I feel like Michael's nails it every year. And also they had these really cool skulls. Hold on, I gotta let my dog out, right? Got some fruit snacks. <laughs> by the way, this video is sponsored by, <laughs> It's not sponsored. Are you okay? At Old Time Pottery, they had these really cool skulls that were, uh, they were just skulls, but they had these little, little bones. Like, I almost said baby bones, but that sounded really bad. <laughs> um, but like little skulls and little bones in, like etched in the, the skull. It looks really cool. And I don't know if I like the color of either of them, but I feel like this is something that you could definitely spray paint black if you wanted to. And I think they were like five bucks, which isn't a bad deal. They were some of the cooler schools. Well, they're the only schools I've seen so far. No, we saw the little school potion bottle looking things at at home. So we, we this is the second school of the day. And I think this one's a little bit cooler, even if the color scheme isn't my favorite. But also one of them was kind of this mossy looking kind of situation. It didn't have moss on it, but it kind of had that color-ish to it. It's kind of like a beigey, a, a, like a greeny beige color. So if you got that, oh, what was that line last year at, at home? And it kind of had the dragon with the moss kind of thing. If you're looking for something more that would kind of go with that kind of theme, I do think that the lighter skull of the two would go with that theme. Anyways, okay, let's move on. Oh God, there's something coming that I just, I can't. <laughs> I can't wait to talk about it. Okay, so where are we at? So there was this little area that had some bottle brush trees, like an orange bottle brush tree and a black bottle brush tree with some little ornaments on it, kind of vintage looking. Um, there was also in this little area, a little black branchy tree that had bats on it. And then there was also a little tree, like a branchy tree that had some glitter bunches kind of on it. Also in a, um, like a, a black satchel at the, at the bottom, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, anyways, it lit up purple. And then there was also this little, in that same little area, this metal cat looking like a black cat with like a face smiling, kind of creepy, but it was what it was. So then there was a whole wall of garland, not like, spooky uh leafy garland or anything it was garland like the sparkly kind of honestly if you're gonna go with that kind of garland i say wait for dollar tree i didn't see how much they were they could have been a dollar and if they were then it's comparable in price but i would wait for a dollar tree on that they also have this really really cool uh outdoor what do you want to call it? Like stake. It was like a ground stake, a ground sign thing, you know, that you put in the ground. And it had this witch flying on a broom, which if you're new here, one of my favorite things that I, I love so much. I love any sort of witch, like hag witch or witch, but also a witch flying on a broom is probably one of my favorite things ever. So it was this witch flying on a broom and it lights up. I didn't see the little thing that you press to test it. So I didn't see it actually light up, but in my mind, it was really exciting. <laughs> so if we can just imagine what it would look like all lit up, I almost snagged it. It's like a little solar thing. I almost snagged it, but I didn't because there was some color on it. I wish it was kind of just black. Like I almost said black and white, but I meant just like a silhouette of black and that's it. Um, so, I mean, but it was kind of cool. I think it was like purple and green. Uh, they also had little other little ground stakes where you can kind of put it up your walkway, you know, or in your back or wherever you want to put it outside, but it goes in the ground. They had pumpkins and I think they had, or like a jack-o'-lantern and also a candy corn. I think it had a ghost. They had a couple of things. And then I got some close-ups of the party stuff. So the garland and some banners and some, uh, what do you call that? 
what do you call that stuff? Is that also garland? No, it's just a banner. Okay, so then they also had these ornaments, like these really large ornaments, and they had some different ones. They had some with polka dots, uh, so black and orange polka dots, orange and black polka dots. They had a jack-o'-lantern one. They had a bunch of different, they had some eyeballs, but they had this one that had me laughing out loud. Like, I felt so bad. I was just sitting there laughing at this. But they had this one that looked like Jack Skellington. <laughs> Look, I think it was supposed to be Jack Skellington, but it, you know, it like can't be Jack Skellington, you know, because of because of you know licensing or whatever. Maybe I don't know if that's what they were trying to do, but it was like Jack Skellington looking at himself through a spoon, <laughs> or Jack Skellington through a fishbowl or something. It was this, this like totally botched. Jack Skellington ornament. Um, <laughs> so then there's this whole end cap of all this little glittery stuff, little garlandy looking thing. I don't know. They had a little spooky house and then a little truck, a black truck that said boo on it and had some jack o' lanterns, I think. And then they had a, um, I think a ghost dog. Yeah, I think it was a ghost dog. And then just a ghost, I think, were all the ones that were in this little. I also got a little bit of a glimpse at the Halloween. They started putting out the Halloween, um, what are they, wreaths? So they had a couple of them out. They had orange, green, and purple. They're just plain wreaths, so you can decorate them however you want. Um, but it looked like they were still putting out that section. But I did get a couple of the wreaths there so you could see what it looked like. I think it covered everything, but if not, I will play everything here. So overall today, I'm really excited that we saw Halloween. I, I saw a couple of things at um, Old Time Pottery that I picked up, but I've yet to see a line where I'm just really excited about it and just pumped and ready to go. I'm hoping that we see something possibly tomorrow morning and I will even go out Wednesday morning really quick and then just add it into this video if I need to. I, mean, I wanted to get it out like last week, but it looks like this year is the longest it's been. Like I've, I don't think we've ever waited this long to see um, Halloween at, at home. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Mr. Skeleton is riding up front today. Hey everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. So today, what are we doing today? Well, we're wearing our stripes, our uniform. It is not, I always wear sunglasses when it's cloudy, but it is, it's another rainy day in paradise. It's actually, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so humid. It's like you step outside and you're just, mm. um, anyway, so I moved Mr. Skeleton up front today. <laughs> so we're, we're, he's riding, he's riding shotgun. Um, so hopefully we can get a somewhat of like a cover photo or something. If you remember back the one story, I'll link it in the description box, or maybe I'll put a, a card or whatever it is, technologies up here. There was a Halloween decor hunting video where at the end, I tell a whole story about Mr. Skeleton and trying to take a cover photo in my driveway with Mr. Skeleton and what happened. <laughs> it's one of my favorite stories ever. Um, anyways, and my uh, post office person will never look at me the same, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, so today we're going Halloween decor hunting. Uh, it, we're cutting it close. It is like tomorrow is the last day of June. But we're going to uh, at home and then I saw a little, all right, that's distracting. I saw a little, I'm gonna put these back on. <laughs> what am I doing? It's almost too bright to not wear sunglasses, but it's, it's not bright enough to wear sunglasses. It's this weird in between. I don't know what's happening. Anyways, I saw somebody post from Bath and Body Works some Halloween hand sanitizers. So we're going, we're cruising to Bath and Body Works and then we're gonna go to At Home and see if this one find, last time we were there, it was still 4th of July and that was last week, last Friday and it's only Tuesday so my guess is they have freaking nothing but you never know. We're going to At Home, we're gonna see if they have anything. We're gonna go there first. I'm sure it's gonna be a freaking, oh, Oh my God. 
there was the cutest chihuahua just now. This guy was walking this little tiny brindle chihuahua, like tiger stripe looking chihuahua. So cute. Oh my, it was like, oh, we're so little. Oh my God. Okay. Is anyone else the type of person that when you go on, I'm not on vacation, <laughs> but if you go on vacation or if you go anywhere that's not around your pets, so like running errands, anywhere. When I see somebody walking their dog or a dog in a car or anything, I'm like, uh -huh. So um, also uh, all morning I've had that Beetlejuice song. I know it's not the Beetlejuice song. I think the Deo, the one that's like, daylight coming, me wanna go home, that song all morning has been stuck in my head <laughs> and then i started being like <laughs> come mr skeleton <laughs> why am i this way come mr skeleton <laughs> telling me banana do, 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 do. it's early as balls and we're going to at home <laughs> What's happening up here? It would not be a Halloween video if we didn't just start singing random songs. There is a fire truck. God, that's the biggest pothole ever. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, oh, I just talked so much shit on somebody for doing that yesterday. I'm a hypocrite. Yeah, sure did that. First, did I bring my phone? Do I have my life together at all today? <sighs> you guys. I'm starting to think that stripes are bad luck for me. Okay, at home in Olathe, Kansas is not gonna have freaking Halloween until July. That is for sure. There was one aisle that looked clear just like last. I didn't even take any video in there. Why? It was literally summer. And um, there was one aisle cleared and there was nothing in it not one jack-o-lantern not even a pumpkin nothing which at least is telling me that they're gonna start putting stuff in the aisle maybe I don't know I'm so confused right now well we're going to Bath and Body Works and we're hoping for the best and then we'll go over to Michael's and see if we can roll around in some fall floral and then what we'll do is I will go online because I do know, okay, I know that Grandin Road put out some new stuff. I haven't looked at it yet. I, I've been tempted, but I haven't looked. So I'm really excited to see what they have so we can look together when we get home. Also, I was gonna look at, um, I saw that Joanna Parker put out some new um, ceramics or pottery or we can look at that. We can also look and see what's coming soon because there's like a whole little area that says coming soon and see what we're into, what we like, and maybe what, what we may or may not be putting on our list. Um, so we can at least see some Halloween today, even if at home in Bath and Body Works don't have anything. I'm bummed. Me and Mr. Skeleton, we're doing the best we can. Oh, yeah, and it's really busy in Bath and Body Works because the semi-annual sale. But we're going to see, I, I kind of wanted to see what's, in their semi-annual sale anyway. So, anyways, we're parking way out, so. All right, here we go. We're going into Bath and Body Works. All right, who said this was gonna be a Halloween decor hunting video? Not me. <laughs> Definitely not me, no. Okay. Um, not like I was expecting Halloween at Bath and Body Works or Michael's, because I really wasn't expecting to see it there. But 
I guess I should have gone to Home Goods just to check, but I think somebody said over on the Facebook group that Home Goods is going to be a couple weeks. So we'll start stocking Home Goods probably next week. Nothing at Bath and Body Works. They were still doing their semi annual sale, which I figured for most Bath and Body Works stores, my prediction was mid July, but there is a literal hole in the middle of the street. Um, and I think it's still gonna be about mid-July before all Bath & Body Works stores see their first round of stuff. I think some stores might start trickling stuff in. That's what I've seen. Some like plugins and some candles and stuff, but I really don't think most people are gonna put them out, the Bath & Body Works stuff, until after the semi-annual sale, which is going on until I think July 12th. Did get some, uh, I really like this time of year to get floral, like uh, summer and spring floral on sale. And then that way uh, I just I just spray paint it black because a lot of their Halloween floral, uh, in my opinion, ends up being like a spray black spray painted version. It's not spray painted, but it's like a black version of whatever floral they already have out. So, I mean, some of it's not, some of it is cool and like really Halloween specific. But some of it isn't. It's just kind of like mossy or leafy things that are just black instead of green. Oh, me and my allergies all of a sudden. Woo! Anyway, so uh, I did see some fall floral at Michael's. I ran over there after Bath & Body Works really quick. And I usually don't really include a ton of fall stuff because we're Halloween. But I figured I'd include it since we saw literally nothing else today. Some cute little pumpkin things like little pumpkin i don't even know what you want to call them branchy situations they had a couple of wreaths they had some cool looking i don't know just different floral <laughs> i don't know what, what it is flowers like sunflower looking stuff uh pumpkins i mean they had some cute fall stuff that they're starting to put out so michael's is starting to get out fall but I mean, I don't see them putting out Halloween until closer to, um, like after back to school, but they could surprise us. You never know. But anyways, we're going home to look at Halloween because clearly we didn't see any out. So I'll see you guys at home and no, like actually not at the store at home, but like at my house, see you guys there and we'll look at some things online and All right, so we're back home and we didn't see any Halloween out there. So I figured we could do a little online investigating and see what kind of new stuff is out there, if anything, which I did see an email that Grandin Road did put out some Halloween stuff. So we're gonna look at Grandin Road. And Grandin Road is pretty overpriced, but uh, the quality of their pieces that I've gotten from there has been really, really good. These are kind of cute for all year round, these bat lanterns for all year round outside, if you like dark decor. This is kind of cute, the witch hands snack bowl stand and it has three witch hands coming out with bowls in their hands and it has different snacks in it, that's kind of cute. Ooh, these melting candles are standing out to me. I did see somebody over on the Facebook group do a DIY, like a really large uh, DIY candle thing that was really cool, uh, where they took pool noodles and uh, put tea lights in them. And then they took hot glue and dripped the hot glue on the sides and then painted it all black and then clustered them together. It was really cool. The deluxe animated safe is new. It only has three stars. I mean, $200. Animated elevator call button. That's it. What else? We got some pumpkins. Skeleton hand water pump is is here. Let's let's watch it. I get the gist. It's actually like a real fountain. Uh, this pre lit haunted house, eleven inches, is kind of cute. How big is this thing? Uh, 11 inches tall. Oh, it said 11 inches. <laughs> That's right. It's kind of like a mix between the, the houses we saw at Target, 
at home and big lots last year deluxe animated brewing witch duo do we see this last year no i think we saw the trio i think uh, a couple i think home wait home depot had the trio i think on a cold autumn night when the cauldron begins to boil I mean, I like these outfits. I mean, I would get these just to borrow them. <laughs> Don't be caught without a friend. Life size stone Serena. Did we see this last year? Maybe not. Maybe um, but it's a life size stone Serena. Maybe it was something that looked kind of similar to it. They they have their different um ghouls every year. This one's really creepy looking. Look at these eyes. <laughs> Put this in the corner of your room at night. Also, that wig is questionable, but uh, anyways, that's not creepy at all. Moving on, uh, these are kind of cute. These bat tea light holders, set of two. These are kind of cute, like these guys right here. $99? Man. All right, what else do we have here? Uh, forest witch hat decor. I feel like I've seen uh, witch hat decor like this at Michael's where it's like a stack of books and then a witch hat. The Halloween thistle wreath is kind of like a dark, spooky, enchanting looking wreath. It's $149. But I'd probably leave this one out all year round because it's not really Halloween specific. All right, a couple of pillows. Oh, this is kind of cool. This animated floating candelabra. I think we saw the floating, what was it? The floating, um, Oh, the broom last year, a floating candelabra. This is actually kind of a cool looking candelabra. Anyways, it has a skull with a spider web design looking thing going on with it. It's kind of a Gothic look. Let's watch the video. Okay, I kind of love this. I mean, I know it's just a candelabra on wheels. I mean, first of all, this whole background is, I'm loving it. Was this from last year? Four months ago, so, oh, this was from last year, eight months ago. My kids loved it. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's pretty much it then for Grand and Road. Let's go on to Christmas traditions, see what they have. I know it said Joanna Parker, who's my favorite, put out some new stuff. Well, let's just go to Halloween. I mean, they have a bunch of stuff on here. Some of the stuff says coming soon. Some of the stuff is already out. Yeah, I think this just goes by what's new. But they have a lot of vintage looking pieces. So if you like vintage decor, this is such a good site for that. I love that. Waitlist me? I don't know, should I? Maximum quantity two, it's only 32 bucks. Which, oh, this is a Joanna Parker piece. Dang it, it's gonna sell out. Oh, maybe I need to sign up with my email. I mean, a lot of the, here's another, I think this is also a Joanna Parker piece. Let me see. Is this for sale right now? Yeah, this is 2021 Joanna Parker piece. Little jack-o'-lantern guy with the witch hat on. And then also Joanna Parker mugs. That's what I usually like the most. But there are other really cool things on here. I uh, like this jack-o'-lantern bucket, it's cool. This witch head, witch with hat lantern. Anyways, there's a lot of stuff on here. Really, really cool stuff. Lots of vintage looking pieces if you're looking for vintage pieces. Um, also, if you're the type of person who really just likes picking out unique pieces every year, that you like to skip out on some of the more mainstream stuff, I feel like this is a really good site for that because you can find some really unique pieces, pieces you really want to invest in. Um, that's, that's this type of place, I feel like. Let's look at actual Joanna Parker pieces because I want to see if the mugs, it looks like uh, some scarecrows. Hmm... Looks like this year, Joanna Parker's going for the mummy. There's a mummy, just a regular mummy, and then a mummy cat. I'm also really liking these uh, these lanterns from Joanna Parker this year. Well, we're gonna go to Joanne's uh, early in the morning tomorrow. Everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. All right, what are we doing today? 
We are officially, for the first time in 2021, we are cruising to Joanne. <laughs> we're cruising to Joanne's. All right, so we're gonna go see if Joanne's has any Halloween fabric, and we're also going to, I forgot yesterday when we looked online at stuff, I totally forgot that Kirkland's had released some of their Halloween stuff online. I think somebody said something in the Facebook group about it, so we're gonna check it out. Um, come on, this is ridiculous. I haven't had coffee today. I am sorry, this person going literal 15 miles an hour. I need to have some coffee. We're off-roading, it's all right, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> that person's still back there going 15 miles an hour, by the way, so I wasn't overreacting. Okay, oh Lord, oh God, we're on gravel. I don't know what has, they've been doing all this road work. I'm road raging today, Mr. Skeleton. All right, I gotta go get my Starbucks, I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna start over because I think we got off to a intense start today. The universe really doesn't want me to be out today. I don't know what's happening. Um, first and foremost, I woke up with this sinus headache. You know, the ones that are like right in the front, like right behind your eyes, but also in your forehead. And you know that at any point in the day, or you hope at any point during the day, you're gonna hear this little like, it's like a little air bubble sounding situation where uh, it just starts clearing up and then all of a sudden it's like all the pressure is released and it feels, I don't need this, this one. <clears throat> and then it's like everything just feels amazing again. I love that feeling where you could just like feel the pressure being released. I hope that happens today. It's probably one of the top five best feelings in the world. Um, anyway, so then I got up, it was pouring down rain. I was like, oh, no big deal. I'll just run the dogs out because Neens can't go down the stairs, so I have to run her out. And so I ran them out really quick. I was like, oh, no big deal. It's going to take two seconds. No big deal. No big deal. It's pouring down rain to the point where we are all soaked when we come in. We all smell like a bunch of wet dogs when we come in. So anyways, not to be a Debbie Downer today, but also <laughs> then... Right when I'm about to leave, Aunt Flo decides to make a full-blown appearance. There was no like easing into it. She showed up. No little uh, warning or a little courtesy call before. She just shows up ready to flow. <laughs> and it feels like a freaking gremlin is gnawing at my uterus right now. So you know, there's that. You can relate, can't you, Mr. Skeleton? So we're finally cruising to Joanne's. And this video is already 3,000 years long. I was editing it yesterday. Where am I going this way? And it's already so long. And so if you're new here, the episodes I like to do, if I can, do an hour-long episode. I like these videos to be longer because it's fun. Like, I feel like we're actually out Halloween decor hunting together. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna do this year. I don't know, do you guys wanna see like individual stores as well? Like total, uh, like go store, but like, you know, Michael's 2021, this at home 20, like do you wanna see stuff like that or would you just rather see the like in general Halloween decor hunting or do you wanna see both? Cause I, I mean, I, I could do both. Like where's Joanne's? Oh, 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 come on Jade. Left or right, left or right, left, right. Right, shit, right, right, right. We're at Joanne's, we're here. Right, so we just left Joanne's and um, we saw fabric. Halloween fabric is officially, I'm not about to hit a curb, am I? Uh, Halloween fabric is officially out. And let me just say, I didn't know how excited I, like I've seen a couple of pictures of the fabric, but I didn't really know how excited I was gonna be about it. But uh, the fabric this year is really good like it makes me want to learn how to sew anyways they had the coolest fabric okay, i'm gonna start with the simple stuff and then we'll get to the more complex stuff so they had stuff like 
candy corn fabrics, a couple of different candy corn fabrics. You can get a couple of different colors and patterns with candy corns on them. And then um, a couple of different skeleton fabrics um, and like, you know, with like skeletons dancing or skeletons playing different instruments. They also had quite a few Day of the Dead type of pieces or um, like Sugar Skull. They had one fabric that was gray and black stripes that was really cool. Uh, that would be a perfect pillow to kind of pair with another Halloween type of pillow. You know, like when you can like mix patterns or do have one that's patterned and one that's more solid or whatever. So had some little splatter paint looking prints. They had a spider web. I want to say they had a couple of different spider webs and a couple of different colors. I believe one was maybe like an orange background with black spider webs and I want to say there was some glitter in it or metallic. I think it was just glitter. But I feel like they had a couple of different spider web prints that were all really really cool and really pretty. Any other kind of just basic like they had some polka dots and uh, I already said candy corns, but, uh, oh, they had a purple one, I want to say, with spiders, or maybe with spider webs. You know, just a bunch of different kind of patterns I'll show here. I didn't get close-ups of all of the simple ones, because some of them were, like, more just, like, polka dots and the orange and the yellow and that kind of stuff. Uh, but I did get close-ups of all of the really cool ones, or, well, they're really cool, in my opinion, the really detailed ones some really 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 cool unique designs this year so they had one that had a bunch of crystal balls on it that one was really cool and inside the crystal balls so there's a bunch of different spooky things uh, and I, I really loved that there seemed to be a, a good mix of color schemes anything that's you know like from orange and black something that screams Halloween and then to something that's more subtle like something that's more gray and black could be more all year round decor which I love um, they also had this one that had these it almost looked like tarot cards it wasn't the tarot deck specifically but there were cards with little spooky prints on them so they looked uh, like it was inspired by tarot cards and they also had a really pretty one was it skulls and roses it was once again the black and gray kind of theme and it was skulls and roses I want to say and it was really once again one of those all year round kind of dark romantic gothic kind of fabrics really pretty they also had one with bats all over it. Like, um, they had a couple of different ones that had bats in it. Like, one of them was more of like a Halloween print. I want to say it was more of like, um, it was more of like a beige. I want to say. It almost looked like old, like antique type of um, print on it. But it had bats and skulls and a bunch of different things on it. But there was one that was just specifically bats. It was like gray and black, I want to say. Um, it had bats all over and they were realistic looking bats. So it wasn't like a cartoony bat situation. Also, there were a couple of prints with a lot of different animals. Like there were a couple with cats, like skeleton cats. And then there was one that was really cool that had more of like a realistic looking cat thing going on, like pattern on it that was really cool it's like a black cat face just the face of a black cat all over it or the head of a black cat all over it they also had this one that was really cool and I I'm obsessed with it even though it's not even really my style of my like it's not the style of my house but okay it was this orange and black theme like it was all like an orange background with this kind of retro looking black cat print all over a pattern all over it but it almost created this the way that the cats are placed and everything it almost creates this just it looks really really cool so yeah they had a couple different cat prints there were also I was really surprised because one of the prints had some cats in it but it also had some pentagrams and like a couple other things it was like more of like a galaxy looking print if I'm remembering correctly or maybe it was just more colorful it also had a couple of vintage looking prints that were really cool when I say vintage I mean kind of that scaredy cat vintage looking pumpkin kind of theme that we've seen at Michael's the last couple of years but also in other places and then they had uh, and they had it was more of like an off-white background and then it has like a palm like a palmistry kind of thing and then they had one that was basically all somebody had bought up a bunch of this fabric it was a black fabric with gold 
Um, it had snakes and I don't know what else, like a couple, maybe geometric designs or I don't know, but it was like a bunch of different like gold looking, like metallic looking snakes and stuff on it. And it was really cool as well. Another one I really loved and I want to do like a pillow or just a bunch of um, curtains. I want to, <laughs> it was a, uh, a, a black fabric with a bunch of vampire fangs, like teeth vampire teeth all over it. Oh, they also had branchy trees. How can I forget the branchy trees? It's like one of my favorite things about Halloween. They had a, uh, a gray, once again, in that gray and black theme. Then they had an orange and yellow background with uh, black branches. Um, but either way, the branchy ones are just amazing. So um, if I'm forgetting anything, I'll just show it here i'm sure oh there were a couple i know witches there were a couple of different fabrics that had different witch patterns on it like witches uh, one was orange with the witch silhouette i think it said like if the hat fits but that was one of them i think there there were a couple other ones with witches flying on brooms basically they had a couple of different witch patterns if i'm missing anything i'll just keep showing it i'm so excited about that fabric i'm really excited I, I didn't think I'd be that excited about, like I was like, oh, I wish we were seeing more Halloween decor. Oh, now we're in the dark. But I'm, I'm actually pretty excited. All right, we're back. And I just really quickly wanted to get on Kirkland's to see if Kirkland's, hi, Nines, has anything yet, any Halloween. Also, I'm gonna check Pier 1 while we're at it. So it looks like Kirkland's does, ooh, what are these glitter bats? Kind of like those wall bats you see at a lot of different places, like Target had some in their dollar spot last year. Uh, but these look a little bit more sturdy. Uh, I like these skulls, this, this three skulls yard stake, where it's just a yard stake with skulls. This is kind of a cool all year round type of spooky feel. You like an all year round kind of gothic vibe. Here are some more, Yard stakes. This one's really cool. This skull and spider yard stake. What, why isn't it sixty dollars for a rug? How big is this rug? Fifty by thirty. That's pretty good sized. Halloween gnomes canvas art for you gnome people out there. Uh, and then a couple of cute pillows. This one's kind of cute with the moons and the stars on it. Uh, ooh, what's this? Floral skulls. Halloween table runner. This fabric looks like the one I saw at Joann's just earlier. This is cute. Black bat script, happy Halloween accent rug. Also caution, black cat crossing. This could also be a cute all year round decoration if you have a black cat. Here's another cute happy Halloween rug. That's also that kind of black and white look. That's kind of cute. This once again, could be all year round. I really like it if this is a theme uh, that a lot of places are doing where they're doing decor that could also be used all year round. I'm totally into that. I like full on Halloween on Kirkland's right now. Run, do not walk. This is kind of a cute Halloween portrait round tablecloth. So just some pillows and some more rugs. Definitely check out Kirkland's though because they have full on Halloween. What is this? Black and white happy Halloween canvas art print. Oh, this is kind of cute. Double, double toil and trouble. Uh, hanging wooden canvas. This boo gothic doormat. I wish, the only thing I wish with this thing is I wish it was a black background with the white boo. But I do feel like they're getting on board. Oh, wait a minute. This is really cute for anyone who likes the retro vintage kind of stuff this pumpkin pattern pillow. It's like a little vintage looking jack-o'-lantern with a little witch hat on. I feel like Kirkland's had some cute stuff the last couple years, but I do feel like it was definitely more farmhouse. I feel like now though, they're stepping up their game a little bit more. Black spiderweb napkin rings. I feel like I need these. Then I have to check out Kirkland's. I wonder when they're gonna start getting their stuff in. This is also really cute, spiderweb embroidered pillow. Also love this spooky spiderweb out, outdoor accent pillow. I might end up taking full advantage of the spooky summer feels. <laughs> oh no, looks like I'm going broke this year. Okay, my camera officially died, so hopefully I didn't lose any footage because we just saw a bunch of good stuff. 
the $65 pillow, the cat and the jack-o'-lantern canvas art, and the that vintage looking rug. Anyways, that's Kirkland's. I'm also gonna check really quick while we're sitting here. Pier one. I've got some cute stuff at Pier One. Come on. There's it's all these pop-up things. Um they have some cute table runners. This one's a potion table runner. This is kind of more of a cutesy feel, more of like a kind of like you know what Target does, I feel like. All of these are marked down. Halloween lace tablecloth. This is pretty cute. It's kind of that lace look, kind of like we see from uh, Spirit Halloween. Pumpkin photo banner. If you're having a Halloween party, this is actually kind of cute. It's this kind of pin-up looking witch with all these jack-o'-lanterns, like a vintage feel. And then it has little holes where you can stick your head in. Then they have these like interesting looking canvas art that I don't know if I'm too crazy about. But they're... You know, there's like witch boots and bats, um, some spooky mugs, this little whiskey decanter is kind of cute. The Sugar Skull whiskey decanter. Love this, uh, love the rugs. Are all these outdoor rugs, doormats? I like this. The skulls and bats and spiders. Let's see what it looks like. I do like that. Uh, then there's also this one that I liked. This spider and spider web one. This orange pumpkin treat bag lantern is kind of cute. It still looks like Pier 1 has some room. Like they're going to put some more stuff out. Because right now I'm just seeing some wall decor, some outdoor mats, some table runners. But I feel like they're real decor. Like they usually get some really cute tabletop decor. I feel like that stuff, will. there'll be more of that put on Pier 1. And I'm sure Kirkland's will also have more stuff put on their website. But they have some really good stuff so far. Hey everyone! Today we are Halloween decor hunting again. It's just me and it's just me. <laughs> Good old Mr. Skeleton isn't here today, which makes me really sad. Um, I forgot to take him out of the car and I'm currently borrowing my mom's car because yesterday I had a nail appointment. Dallas had to end up working. My mom is in Vegas. So she was like, well, why don't you just borrow my car? It's really just things that I scheduled before we got, like, I had to turn in the car that seems to be getting in the way, like dental appointments, things like that. But anything that's scheduled in the future, I, I will know I don't have a car so I can plan it or plan everything around that. But anyways, we're headed to at home and we're gonna go check to see if there's anything. I, I was not planning on putting this video out so late. I wanted to get this out before July, but now that it's already into July, like, okay, well, I might as well just, throw this day in there last minute and we'll go see if at home has anything we went there tuesday they had absolutely nothing this is three days later so we're gonna see where we're at we're gonna go look for freaking halloween god here's that same pothole oh god so oh that's not that would be me going there no that that person was going the wrong way Oh God, and now we got all these semi trucks. Oh my God, tell me these semi trucks all have Halloween decorations in them. Drive off with one of them. Like, uh, what was that movie? The Fast and the Furious, but with Halloween decorations. <laughs> all right, so I'm going in, we're at, ow. Uh, uh, uh. Finally, finally, I'm gonna open this Coca-Cola Classic real quick. Finally, it happened to me. I am from. Shit, I just spilled. My mom has a bunch of masks, but does she have napkins? I'm surprised, she's a Virgo. She should have a whole roll of paper towels in here. I will wipe it up with my dress, it'll have to do. Okay, thanks to Mom the Virgo for letting us borrow her car because otherwise we wouldn't have seen it. We would have missed it. It's freaking hot. <laughs> Gone are those really nice overcast days that we had. <sighs> okay, we gotta get going. So we gotta go to, no, my hands are all sticky. Should hand sanitizer in here? Mom, 
What are you doing? Wait, I have tissue. Apparently, I'm a Virgo. None of these happened to me right in front of my face. And I don't have any hand sanitizer. Oh, well. Okay. First of all, we saw Halloween. We almost missed it because it was back in this like back aisle. Like it wasn't on one of the main aisles. It wasn't a main end cap. It was like back in an aisle. Anyway, first thing I saw was one thing that I've seen out in on the Facebook group and out in the universe. There are these stackable mugs that they're doing this year that are so freaking amazing. And for all year round kind of spooky decor, they have one set that's kind of more, I would say more Halloween, but could be all year round too if you like spooky stuff. It's like a thing of stackable mugs, but it has like a little, one's a little jack-o'-lantern, one's a little, is it like a cat? One's a little, like they're different characters. Maybe one's a little Frankenstein or something. Or the other set of cups they have, and this is the one I was so excited about. It's a stackable mug set that's in the whole, like each mug is a different section of a skeleton. And so together, when they're all stacked together, it's a full skeleton. I loved it. And I've been, I was hoping I wouldn't miss out on that. They also had another little mug stack uh, that had different witchy kind of things like eye of the newt and uh i can't remember what the other you know what i mean like bat wings i don't think i don't know if that was one of them but you know what i mean like the different potion kind of anyways liked those those were really those would be another good all year round piece also saw what else did we see uh some candles oh my gosh it smelled first of all let me just say it smelled like october in that section and i just kept just I don't know what word I want to use, hyperventilating. <laughs> they had a candlestick that looked like a skeleton. They had different uh, other candles, just orange and black candles. Um, they also had a candy corn looking candle. They had a really cool skull luminary looking LED candle that's kind of that wax look. Like it looks like a candle, but it has an LED light in it instead of a burning candle situation then they had another really cool intricate looking skull that was a bleeding candle that seemed really cool i almost snagged that i don't know i might have to go back for it because it's kind of cool and then they had once again some more of those glass kind of uh potion bottles or just different bottles you know that say like vampire blood or uh vampire fangs or whatever poison uh unicorn tears just different bottles they were all really pretty and i really liked that they were pretty basic a couple of them we saw at the lee summit store like the poison bottles that were more iridescent looking um but some of the other ones i saw today that i did not see at the lee summit store were a little bit more uh basic which i liked because they just I thought that they were a little bit more grown up looking. You could leave them out all year round for sure if you wanted to. They also had a couple of new skull glass skulls with the, the cork stoppers in them. They had clear and they had blue, royal blue at this store. They didn't have, uh, they didn't have the green or the purple like we saw in the Summit. So I'm really glad that I saw two of the other colors that are going to be available. So they're going to have clear and blue added to that mix and there was another thing by the mugs that was kind of this weird it's like um it's like a little block it's, it's blocks and you can spell out boo um it had like b-o-k i was like what's b-o-k and then i flipped the block and it was boo but then you can also flip the block and make it say eek um they also had a sign that said um i think it said make no bones about it or something or something about bones bone no bones <laughs> and the other one was one of those signs that's ouija board looking sign they had one like that last year the ouija board looking sign the black and white one so they have that again this year i believe that was part of the spellbound collection last year um and then they had a trick-or-treat sign that looked like a tag or something like like tags hanging off like one said trick and one said treat on it they also had the ceramic trees back this year the ones that look like christmas trees but one was a candy corn that lit up um, like a candy corn color scheme situation the other one was a black christmas tree with the purple and orange lights i think on on the tree oh they had a bunch of outdoor rugs like front door rug area stuff 
one of them said trick or treat yourself and had all this like little cute candy I think all at the bottom of it like sprinkled out one that said shoe uh shoes off witches is what it said there was one that had a jack-o-lantern on it that said welcome had the Ouija board looking one again this year um they had Oh, they had another one that was black and it said boo, which I feel like they had last year. It has like a cat and maybe like some bones or something. And then they had one that was, I don't know, they had other ones. I'll just show here. I can't remember what they said. Maybe something else about which leave your broom or witches something and it had like a witch on it. I can't remember what it said though. Welcome witches, no, that's what it said, but I don't know. There was a mat that said something like trick or treat or welcome or happy Halloween on it. It said something on it and it had those little kind of starburst looking things on it. it. Looked a lot like their more of their retro kind of style stuff that they had out last year. So it kind of goes with that. So I'm wondering if they're going to have a similar theme to that this year. They did have some velvet pumpkins, like a black velvet pumpkin. That's kind of that. I'm so excited about at home so far and i'm so excited i got to see those stacking mugs the um skeleton stacking mugs because it's something i really wanted to see in person really really excited about what we're seeing so far and that we saw some variety today I'm, i keep repeating myself but i'm so excited so anyways that is it for this video though i'm gonna go home drop this uh, into this video really quickly um but overall i'm so happy to be back halloween decor hunting with you guys and um catching up and you know, driving all around town, jabbing our jaws. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments, because you know I love talking to you. Let me know down in the comments anything that you um, want to talk about. Halloween stuff, what you've been up to, um, what you're looking forward to, uh, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down in the comments or anything that you saw in this video that you want to respond to. We can chit chat. Also, I will have the Facebook group once again. Uh, I will have it linked down in the description box for you in case you're wanting to join in on the Halloween fun over on Facebook. I'm going to throw this on this video real quick and then I will see you guys next time. We will be out Halloween decor hunting. I'm going to post Halloween decor hunting videos as, as often as possible. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.